Infinite Rider. All right. So today, oh, I left the gas thing up. So today, I'm going to give you my final impressions on the ZX14R. And first off, we need to thank Zach for letting us borrow this bike for an extended time. Today, we're talking about this baby. Woo! <laughs> Now that I've had a little bit of time to ride the ZX-14, I've become a lot more comfortable with it, and I'm more familiar with how it rides. And what it's for, it has a single purpose in my mind. And its purpose is to go extremely fast in a straight line. That's what it's for. So if you're looking for a nimble canyon carver type of motorcycle, you're not looking at the hyperbike class or um, these sport touring, humongous, extremely powerful motorcycles like this one. This bike is in the same class as the Hayabusa, as we all know, and they have one purpose. I, I consider these drag bikes. I mean, they are more comfortable. It's, it's meant to go extremely fast in a straight line, and it will for damn sure do that i'll tell you that much it will do that with without any question <laughs> that was a terrible turn so one thing i like about zach's zx14 is this right here <laughs> i can't act up it's too much traffic but that that pingo quick shifter that changed the game for the hyper bike or for this motorcycle. So if you have one of these, you, you need to have that on there. So if this bike did not have uh, the Pingo shifter, let's just say it was stock. I will have to say that this bike is gonna be more comfortable than your typical um, super sport motorcycle, like your R6 or your Gixxer 600 or 1000, an R1 class of motorcycle, because those are designed more aerodynamic so it's harder to sit upright. And basically your ass is gonna be in the air and you're gonna be twerking. And uh, yeah, yeah, it's just not, it's not a good bike for your back. Versus this one, it's way more comfortable than any of those other bikes. On Zach's bike, one thing I love is the styling. He fixed this bike up perfect to look extremely stylish. It gets a lot of head turns. It gets a lot of looks, people asking questions about it. It's a stylish motorcycle. And that's due to the aftermarket wheels, the roaring towards swing arm he has on there. Uh, what else does he have on this bike? His, uh, it just, I mean, it just looks good. It's just a stylish bike. Now, as far as the ride quality, I haven't ridden a stock ZX-14, so I don't know how comfortable they would be. But this particular unit, is extremely comfortable. Like, as far as going in a straight line, like, it, it'll get you in trouble because you'll be going at an extremely high speed. Like, you'll be flying on this thing and you you won't even realize it. You'll look down and be like, oh God, I'm doing 100 miles per hour. Like, because it just feels that comfortable and like, it's just meant to go fast. Now, don't get me wrong, this Speedo is a little bit off he told me that when he first uh, brought it, when I first picked it up. He told me that when he first gave it to me to make videos on or whatnot. But yeah, the, the Speedo is a little bit off on this one. And that's one of the tough things about the ZX-14. I don't think that they have a Speedo healer yet, but if they do, comment down below in the comments and let me know um, who makes the Speedo healer for this or if they have a Speedo healer so I can let Zach know. And another thing I will tell you about this particular motorcycle, it's power, it, it's not like a gradual power increase. It's power through the entire rev range. So how people be like, drop a gear and disappear, you ain't even got to do that. You just twist your wrist and you're going to be gone on this bike. Like you, you'll disappear. You don't have to drop a gear. That's how powerful this motorcycle is. Now, is this a good bike for the city or for just 
cruising around town, in and out of traffic, this, that, and the other. No, it's not. If you're not planning on drag racing this or being on the highway frequently or something like that, then you don't, you don't need this kind of power or this type of motorcycle. I don't understand the point of having it if you're not planning on doing a lot of highway rides or really fast rides or um, drag racing the motorcycle because it, it has that much power and that's what it's designed for. So if you're not utilizing that, why not get a smaller CC motorcycle? You, you don't need all of this. Out of all of the super sports and hyper sport motorcycles, I will say that if you plan on doing some longer trips and you don't want to do it on a touring bike or um, a cruiser, which I don't see why you wouldn't want to do it on one of those. Those are with those trips and longer road trips and stuff like that is what cruisers and touring bikes were designed for. Sport bikes ain't designed for that, but some people just be like, oh, I can do whatever on my sport bike. Oh, well, cheers to you, player. <laughs> if you're looking to do like road trips or something like that, then yeah, one of these would be a, a good option for you because it's going to be more comfortable. And I feel like you can do a little bit longer trips on it. Like not nothing ridiculous or anything like that, but you could definitely go a little further. This traffic is just flat out stupid. Like it never used to be like this. Like there's a lot of traffic out here. Yes, yeah, unlimited power. It does not stop giving, like, jeez. Now, if you're a beginner and you're thinking like, I want a Hayabusa or a ZX-14, you really, really need to go get some therapy because there's something wrong with you because you have no business on one of these bikes if you haven't been riding for quite some time. Like, I, I have people who tell me that, like, oh, I'm getting me a, a 1000 double R. How long you been riding? I don't know how to ride yet. Then you're a flat out idiot. I'm sorry, I'm not being mean, but you're not an idiot, but you're you're misinformed or you're not well educated on what these bikes are designed for. But overall, would I personally jump up and go buy me a ZX14? No, I would not. But that's just me because you know what type of bikes I like. I like smaller frame, zippy little motorcycles. This, this bike is big. This is a huge motorcycle. Out of all the motorcycles that's been in my garage, this is the largest one I've had in there. It's bigger than the Boulevard I used to have. It's bigger than the Honda Shadow I had. It's a, it, this is a big ass bike. I ain't gonna even lie to you. That's not the only reason I wouldn't choose to get one of these. The reason is I don't plan on taking a sport bike on a long road trip. I don't plan on doing a lot of drag strip days. And I don't plan on being over 100 miles per hour on a regular. Like this bike feels comfortable when it's up over 100 miles per hour. If you got one of these and you ain't breaking triple digits on a regular basis, like trade it in. <laughs> I mean, that's what it's for. It's made to go fast. But let me know y'all thoughts about the ZX14R, if you have one, if you've ridden one, if you spent some time with one, if you've had experience. Do you think the stuff I'm saying about this bike today is accurate? Like, what, what would you say? What would you think the bike is designed for? What are its strong suits? What are its weaker points? And uh, would you make this your main motorcycle? I'd love to, I'd love to know what y'all got to say, or I'd love to hear what you got to say about that. This is going to be the last video in this series. I hope you enjoyed the series. Um, I tried to keep it kind of short. I have been out riding this bike quite a bit, um, but I haven't really uh, shot that, that many videos. I think I gave you enough information on it. You know, I don't want to give too much or, you know, do too much on this bike or be riding it too much. I mean, I got a garage full of motorcycles right now, so it's other bikes. I'm, I have to review, ride, and enjoy. I can't let none of them feel left out, but I will see y'all in the next one. You make sure you stay safe, uh, be blessed, and get out there on two wheels, people. Love you. Deuces. Oh, wee, that sound. God damn.